This is a video showing how to use a battery to start the Macintosh 2. It's more of a diagnostic test. If you're in a situation where you have a dead Mac 2 and uh, you're trying to figure out what's wrong. Okay, some background. Here's the logic board and there's two batteries soldered into place. One is your standard clock battery but the other provides a voltage to allow the power supply to start up. Now if it goes dead the Macintosh 2 will not start. Now it could be that that monster power supply is dead but after this many years it's more likely a battery issue. And they're soldered to the boards so it's a big operation to change them. Now in Apple's defense when they designed and released the Mac 2 in 1987 I don't think they had envisioned that people would still be using them 24 years later. I mean, at the time, Apple was more concerned with getting people used to the whole mouse concept. Hello, computer. Just use the keyboard. So here's how to test. First, I've taken a battery holder out of a dead Mac 2SI, soldered some wires to it and added a standard half AA, basically the same as that soldered to the logic board. Locate the spot where the power supply plugs into the logic board. The last terminal with the white wire is the line we need to jump. Okay, now plug power into the Macintosh 2. Touch the negative of the battery to the metal lining of the case. Next, touch the positive to that last terminal. If the power supply starts up, then it's good. And if you hear a startup chime, that's even better because it means your logic board is okay as well. But if you hear the error chord, uh, that means your logic board has some issues. But with any luck, you'll be back in business with your Macintosh 2. Just remember, this procedure involves live electricity. Please use all due caution if attempting it yourself. Wow! wow.